Welcome to Comunda's Development Environment Tutorial. In this video, we'll be going through all the processes required in order to set up your development environment. We'll be starting with the very basics of installing Java, then going on to installing Eclipse with the prepackaged Comunda modeler and then running and installing the Comunda platform. We're also going to show you how to install Maven, which will help you with management of your project as well as Maven archetypes for Comunda, which will help with setting up your project. And finally, we will create and deploy a Java project to the Comunda platform. So, with all that covered, you'll have everything you need to start developing Comunda projects. We'll be starting with how to download Java. To do that, open a web browser and search for Java JDK. You will see a link appear for Oracle's download page. After opening the page, look for the JDK download link on the right. And once you agree to the licenses agreement, select the download option that reflects your environment. I'm using a 64-bit version of Windows, so that is the download I'm going to choose. To install Java, start by clicking the download file. Your browser will ask you if you'd like to run it, which in this case you do. Click Run. That will launch the Java installation wizard. This is pretty much painless and will involve a series of clicking next followed by a bit of waiting. I've skipped some of the loading time in this video, so it will likely take a little longer than seen here. We're seeing an option for the destination folder, which I'm happy with, so I'll click next. We're on the home stretch now. We just need to wait for the final screen, and when it appears, click Close. Next, we're going to download Eclipse with the Comunda Modeler prepackaged. Start by searching for Comunda Downloads. When you see the link to Comunda.org, click it. You'll be brought to the BPM Platform download page, but we don't want that just yet, so click on the BPMN 2.0 Modeler tab. You'll see the standalone modeler download and the modeler prepackaged with Eclipse. Click on the prepackaged Eclipse link to begin the download. Now we're going to install Eclipse. Find the file you downloaded in its folder and cut or copy it. Then go to a directory where we're going to create a new folder for it. I'm going to name the folder Eclipse underscore Comunda. Open that folder and paste the downloaded zip file. Then use a zip extraction tool, extract the contents to the current location. In order to run Eclipse, simply open the folder, find the executable file, and double click. That will start launching Eclipse. You'll be asked to choose your workspace, and finally, Eclipse, with the Comunda modeler installed, will start. Now we're going to install the Comunda platform. This is a container with operational tools that will help you interact with your deployed process. We'll start by going back to the Comunda downloads page, and there we'll find various distributions of the Comunda platform. In this case, we're going to download the zip version of the Tomcat distribution. When the download is complete, open up the containing folder and cut or copy the zip file. Then, go to a directory where we're going to create a new folder for it. Then, I'm going to name this folder Comunda underscore home. Now, open that up and paste the zip file into the folder. Once again, extract the contents and then locate the Start Comunda bat file. You can double click on that to start Comunda. That will start a Tomcat shell which in turn will launch a web browser that points to Comunda's start page. Here you'll see links to the operational tools that will help you with your process. Now we're going to install Maven. Maven is a build automation tool for Java projects that helps by describing how the software is built as well as its dependencies. Go back to your web browser and search for 
M2 Eclipse. That will return a link to Eclipse.org. In the Installation section, you'll see a link. Copy that link as shown and go back to Eclipse. When in Eclipse, click Help and then Install New Software. Click Add in the top right and enter M2 Eclipse. And in Location, field paste the link you copied. Click OK. You'll see the files appear. Select them and click Next. You'll need to wait for the Maven integration to download. Click Next and Next again. Agree to the software license and finally wait for Maven to install. When it asks you to restart Eclipse, do so. Now to install Maven archetypes for Komunda. These are a great help when starting a new project. They generate required files and set up the environment so that you don't have to go tinkering with settings before starting. Search for Komunda Docs and go to the Komunda website. Click on the User Guide link. Click on Process Applications. And finally, click Maven Templates. Scroll down the Summary section and copy the link shown. Now go back to Eclipse. In Eclipse, click New, Project, and do a quick search for Maven. Select the Maven project. To add the archetypes, click Configure. Click Add Remote Catalog, paste the link in the File field. Enter Komunda BPM to the description. Click OK and OK again. Now you'll be able to select Komunda from the drop-down. The available archetypes will appear below. We will go into more details on how to use these next. Now we have everything we need to create a Komunda project, so let's do it from the beginning. Click File, New, Project, and search for Maven Project. Click Next. Choose Komunda from the drop-down and select the Servlet War archetype. Click Next. Now enter a group ID, and then an artifact ID. In this case, it's Demo Prog. Click Finish, and you'll see it's created a new project folder. As you can see, it's already created a Java class with the required at process application notation. It's also created a default BPMN diagram, which I shall just add a user task to, and I'll save my change. You can see a class where you write unit tests before deployment. And finally, the POM file, which has all the required dependencies already added. To compile the project, right-click and under the Run As menu you'll see Maven Install. So, click Maven Install. The build process will begin. When finished, it will display Build Success. You'll find the finished project in the target folder. Right-click on the WAR file and copy it. Now go to the directory where you installed the Komunda platform. Open Server folder. Apache Tomcat, Web Apps, then paste the WAR file. We can start our process by going to Komunda's landing page. Open the task list and cockpit. We'll start by launching our process in the task list. Click on the Start Process icon and select Demo Prog from the list. Click Start, and you'll notice a pop up confirming the process has started. Now we'll go to Cockpit to view our process. You'll be able to see the process diagram. Click on it. You can see one instance is running, which we started. So, I guess we can call that a success. Enjoy exploring Komunda BPM.